Hi! Today we're going to determine if the given expression is a perfect square trinomial. Now, uh, when the binomial ax plus b is c squared, now the special product of that is a squared x squared plus 2abx plus b squared. You have to take note that all the terms of the trinomial are related to the terms of the binomial. For the first term of this trinomial, this is the square of the first term of the binomial. We have a squared, x squared. Then, for the second term of the trinomial, that is twice the product of the first and then the second term. You're going to multiply ax and then b times 2, that is 2abx. And then, for the last term of the trinomial, that is the square of the second term of the binomial. Let us determine if the given expression is a perfect square trinomial. Let us have an example. Letter A, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, let us put aside, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, you're going to ask yourself if the first term of this trinomial is a perfect square. Square root of x squared, that is x. Square root of, how about the last term? Is 9 a perfect square? Yes, because the square root of 9 is 3. Now, if you're going to multiply it by 2, is the result 6x, which is the middle term of this trinomial. Let's see, 2 times x times 3. So, the answer is 6x, which is the middle term of this trinomial. Therefore, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. The next, let us have number 2. So, number 2, let's say we have, or letter B, let's say we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, let us put aside, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, is x squared a perfect square? Yes, because square root of x squared is x. Is 6 a perfect square? No, because this is not a perfect square number. And therefore, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is not a perfect square trinomial. Letter C. Let's say we have x squared minus 10x minus 25. So, again, is x squared a perfect square? Yes. Is negative 25 a perfect square? Now, 25, the number itself is a per perfect square. But then, its sign is negative, which is not a real number. So, meaning to say, an imaginary number that is square root of negative 25, that is equal to square root of 25 times square root of negative 1, that is, square root of 25 is 5, then square root of negative 1, that is i. So, that is an imaginary number. So, meaning to say, x squared minus 10x minus 25 is not a perfect square. Not a perfect square trinomial. Let us have letter D example. We have 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. So we have to get the square root of the first term, we have square root of 9, 3, square root of x squared, that is x. Then, get the square root of the last term, which is 4, so square root of 4, that is 2. Then, after that, multiply it by 2. So, 3x times 2, that is 6x. 
times 2 that is 12x that is okay if uh, if the sign of the middle term is positive or negative so here we can say that 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 is a perfect square trinomial trinomial For the last example, for letter E, let's say we have 9x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. Let's see. Let us get the square root of 9x squared. So we have 3x square root of the last term, square root of 25. We have 5 square root of 5y. We have y. Let us multiply by 2. So, 3x times 5y, that is 15xy, times 2, that is 30xy. So, therefore, we can say that this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, that's it. I hope you learned a lot today. Now, for more videos, just like, subscribe, and then click the notification button. Thank you!